Right, on this second bonus lesson, I want to just show you how you can use the trace tool to have other uses as well. Like say for instance, um, we've got our parrot here, but we need to create um, a clipping path for that parrot. So at the moment, if you look, if I go into layers and then I create a new layer, because this is an image and it's squared off, you'll see in a second when I do this, that if I create a square here and I drop it behind the image, it's a square image and it's got white. And at the moment we can't get rid of that white. Or we could if we use the trace options, but say we don't, we want the, the actual image and we don't want to, a traced image. Well, what we can do is we can create a mask using some of our tracing settings so that we'll, so this white area will be transparent instead of like the traditional ways to go around it with the pen tool and then use it as a clipping mask. But uh, I'm gonna show you this new way. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna copy this layer and I'm gonna press Control C to copy or go up to edit and then copy. And then I'm going to just create a new layer and I'm gonna paste in front. And I'll just need to drag this little dot here into there. Now what I've got is I've got two layers. I've got a layer there with the image on and I've got another one with the image on so I've got two so with this top layer I'm going to just rename this layer and call it mask like that and then I'm going to go into my tracing options and I'm going to go and pick um, something that's going to work really well would be the black and white logo then I'm going to come into my options over here and we're going to begin to fill this area until everything becomes black apart from the white areas okay and now I'm happy with that I'm going to hit expand and I'm going to just ungroup it and then I can just get my white this is the white area as you can see and I'm just going to delete it out so I'm just going to hit the delete key to delete that out and that will just give me this mask. Now, if we turn our image on, you can see the mask is covering it. So I can just simply select these two, and that selected the image and the mask. And I can go to Edit, come down to, sorry, uh, Object, Clipping Mask, and then Make. And actually it hasn't worked because I need to make sure that this top image is inside of that image so they're both in there okay so that's become the top now and object clipping path make and now if I turn my red on you'll see that the red will appear underneath it and so we've got our original image but using the the tracing we've created a mask that can work as a clipping path for the actual image so that again can save you lots of time rather than go around it all really closely um, there's a little bit of white there so what I'll probably do is actually come back uh, release the, the clipping mask so I'm just going to go release going to go and get that image I'm just dragging it into the red layer so that I can see this and what I probably do is just make it just bring it in a bit so I'll make this out there If we zoom in, I'll make this a different colour because I want to bring it in just slightly. So if I turn this off, you can see it's just going inside a bit. So I'm just going to bring it into about two. Okay. Now with that path selected, because I want to bring it in, I'm going to go to object and then I'm going to go to path and outline stroke. 
Well, that'll give me that inner stroke there. So I can take this original one. Sorry. I can take both of these and I can ungroup them. Give me that middle one and I can delete that out. That gives me this one. And now what I can do is I can just uncompound that by going down to compound path and then release. And I want to get that outer one and get rid of it. So if I turn this layer on now, you can see it's just cut inside. If we zoom right in, let me just get rid of this red block. You can see it's just cut inside, which is what the tracing didn't allow us to do. You can see it a bit clearer from that one. So now I can take this, drop it down on top of my bird there, select them both, come back down to clipping mask and just make and now if I put a red below it let me just drag a red block out it's much tighter and you haven't got that white line around it so we basically use the the trace tool to create our mask and then we created an outline we outline that outline just to bring it in a little bit and take away the white around the outside and then use that as a clipping mask. So you can see the power of um, using the trace tool, not just to trace images and vectorize images, but also as a masking utility. So hopefully that's been of some use to you. And um, that's another bonus lesson for you.